Hello, sports fans and football fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And like I do every week, I am recapping what happened last week in the XFL, and we are going to preview uh, the the next, the upcoming week of the XFL. And you can see, I got my Defenders hat on. And why is that? Well, it's because I'm a Defenders fan, but... The Defenders went to 3-0 and this week, undefeated, 3-0. and So let's take a recap of the uh, week that was, and let's look at my record because guess what? I was 4-0 and last week. Clean sweep. Got them all right. And so what that means is that on the year the sportsman in the XFL picks is 10 and 2. Let me say that again, 10 and 2. 12 games. I picked 10 right. Only missed two. So, let's go over what happened last week. Um, the first game of the week was on Saturday. It was the only game on Saturday and it was the Sea Dragons and the Vipers. And the Sea Dragons Held on to win this game in a close one, 30-26, as has been the running theme with these XFL games. It was a close game. A lot of these games are very close games. In fact, I think every game this past week was a close game. So uh, the Sea Dragons end up winning that one 30-26, and uh, that was who I picked to win. The next one you got is the Battle Hawks. Against my defenders. And the Battle Hawks were not so lucky. They ended up losing 34-28. The Battle Hawks did get a late touchdown. And I was afraid they were going to do the like XFL shenanigans. But they weren't able to pull it off. So the defenders did end up hanging on to win that game. By the score of 34-28. And went to uh, 3-0. and Undefeated record. And uh, they are, them and the Roughnecks are the only two teams that are undefeated on the season so far. The next game was the um, uh, Guardians visiting the Renegades, the Arlington, Texas Renegades, the very same. And that game ended 10-9. to You want a close game? Try 10-9. to so, yeah, the Renegades ended up hanging on to win that one 10-9 to against a very bad Guardians team. But I think we're seeing now also the Renegades are not very good. Along with probably the Vipers, I'm thinking, are not really that great. And neither are the Brahmas. So that's like three teams right there. Not very good. And then the last game of the weekend, 8 o'clock on Sunday night, was the Roughnecks at home hosting the Brahmas, and they ended up winning 22-13. to Again, pretty close game, but the Roughnecks win it, and they are undefeated along with, like I said, my D.C. defenders. So, with all of that having been said, let's go to week four. And we'll take a look here. You can see Saturday, March 11th, there will be two games. Those two games are the Roughnecks at the Guardians and the Brahmas visiting the Sea Dragons. In the first game, the uh, 7 p.m. game, I am going to go with the Roughnecks over the Guardians. Shocker. Undefeated team plays perfectly defeated team. Who are you going to pick? doesn't matter that the Guardians are at home. I'm taking the Roughnecks. The next game is a 10 p.m. game because it is in Seattle. And uh, that's going to be the Brahmas visiting the Sea Dragons. And I'm going to go with the Sea Dragons in that one. And then you have the uh, 4 p.m. game on Sunday. The two games on Sunday. Sunday, March 12th. That will be the Renegades visiting the Battle Hawks. And in that one... I'm going with the Battle Hawks. The Renegades, they're just not that good. I mean, you know, call me crazy, but I think they're not that good. And then in the last game, my defenders at home 
against the Vipers. And we're going to go with the Defenders. Yes, we are. So let's take the Defenders to win that one. And those are my picks. So what do you guys think on the year? What do you think of the XFL? What are your impressions of the fact that I am? I seem to be the XFL Nostradamus? Yes, yes, I'm bragging, okay? I mean, I am. And, um, you know, just let me know. Leave a comment below. Give me a thumbs up. But you know what? For right now, that is going to be it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.